In this series we are going to create our first custom high-rise 3D asset in Blender 3D. When you first open your default scene, select everything and press X or right-click and click delete. If your 3D cursor is not in the center of the scene, press Shift-C to center your cursor. Now click the Add menu or press Shift-A to add a new mesh. Go to Mesh then Circle. In the lower left you can see our context menu for the add action. The vertex count is going to determine how high detail our circle is, let's pick 8. Octagons are ideal for low poly performance models, that still look nice. Press the tab key to go into edit mode, make sure your whole circle is selected, then press E to extrude, then Z to limit it to the Z axis. Scale the bottom with the S key and move the top with the G key until you like the shape of our ceramic pot. Select the bottom circle and press F to fill with a single face, or press Ctrl F then select Grid Fill. Select the top circle and press E to extrude, then S to scale it down for the lip of the pot. Then E again, and Z to extrude it down. Press Alt Z to toggle X-ray mode, and scale the inner loop to match the slope of our pot. Ctrl F to grid fill again, then press I to inset our faces then move them up slightly, then do it again for our dirt mound. Return to object mode with the tab key and create a new circle. Bring this up to the dirt and scale it down, so it is inside the pot, then enter edit mode and extrude it up. Select the top loop, extrude it up a little then scale it down, then do it again, to create our rounded top, then grid fill the hole. In edit mode press the A key to select all the vertices, then shift D to duplicate, and before confirming with left click, press the R key to rotate. Hold Ctrl to enable increment snapping, and rotate it 90 degrees. Scale it down and position it to the side for the limb of the cactus. Use Alt S to shrink or fatten the selection. Delete the rounded end loops, select the very top vertex of the circle, then press shift S to set the 3D cursor to the selection. Now select your spin tool from the left hand toolbar. Make sure you have the Y axis selected for the tool. Holding control for increment snapping, spin the whole loop 90 degrees to create the elbow. In the context menu bring the steps down to 3, reducing the poly count for the bend. Now at the pivot we will have multiple vertices in the same location. To fix that enter X-ray mode with Alt-C, select all the vertices in the location with box select, then press M and select merge at center. Now extrude up and round off the top just like before. If we select part of the limb and press Ctrl L, it will select the whole connected mesh. Now we can duplicate the mesh and rotate it. But we want to rotate around the center not the mesh's average. So instead press Shift C to center our cursor, then press the period key and select 3D cursor for our new pivot point. Now select the limb press Shift D, then R, then Z, then type 180 to rotate 180 degrees around the Z axis. Adjust the limbs. And now we have a nice potted cactus plant to color in the next video.